Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I am here um, to check into the real deeper feelings of your person, okay? Let's see what's really going on with them, right? Um, this reading is for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with you. Just take what does resonate and toss out the rest. Uh, don't try to force any reading into your world, okay? And thank you, Collective, so much for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything that you guys do. Thank you so much for all of your support. I really do mean that. You guys have no idea how much you've helped me on this journey. You know what I mean? Helping each other. Okay, so your masculine is worried here. Longing for you. Um, someone in their family may even be sick. Um, could even be hospitalized, actually. But I feel like um, for, for, that's only for a small handful. Um, they're just really worried that they're losing you. The, I feel like the worry is all about them not knowing if they're ever going to have another chance with you. Like worried that they've lost you for, for good, forever. Um, yearning for you, right? And getting angry with themselves. Um, they're angry at themselves here for losing you. Basically, how does this person feel about the collective? I feel like this person mopes around a lot. They mope. Um, they get angry and upset in their car, I'm seeing. Um... They just kind of, they've checked out. Wherever they are, they, they may still be in a karmic situation, but whatever it is that they're doing, wherever they are, they just kind of check out and think about you. That's, that's really what this person does. And, and they're, they're, they are very worried that you're going to be, that they're not going to get another chance with you ever, ever. Like ever, ever, right? And that makes them really upset, stressed out. A lot of pressure going on here because this person knows they've got to come forward. Look, you're getting away. Uh, they know they've got to come forward, but they just keep hiding around this corner. They're, it's, it's like they're so hesitant, okay? And they're angry with themselves. That's what this is. Tense, under pressure. It's like they, they feel like they're going to pop. They need to talk to you, but yet at the same time, they hold themselves back out of fear. All right, I feel like you're intimidating and maybe it's been a while or something since um, since they've talked to you and made this right. I feel like, and I'm only saying that because of these training wheels, right? It feels like you were really, you were moving forward but at a slower rate before, okay? Kind of like you were waiting for your person to catch up, waiting for them to catch up and uh, they never did. So you took the training wheels off, okay, collective, and now it's like a downhill coast now. You're going really fast. You're picking up speed, and that's what they're worried about. They're worried about how quickly you're moving on, how quickly it is you're moving forward, and they're, they're back here knowing that they're being left behind. That's the hard part for this person. They're being left behind. Them waving their arms in the air, that's this panic, this stress. But yet they don't come forward. That's this shyness here. But you're moving forward, okay? You are. I feel like um, I kind of get the feeling like they're numbing, actually, off of this card. I don't know why. Anything that's going to comfort this person, they may even, like I said, they've kind of checked out. Okay? So they could even be having a hard time getting out of bed every day, cleaning themselves up, you know? Um, yeah, it's almost like they're stressed out and they really need help, but you're, you're getting further and further away from them energetically and in your life with every passing minute. Okay. And they, that's this stress. They're under a lot of pressure right now. I feel like too, they're getting their karma. A lot of these people they're just losing things left and right. Things are dropping out of their life. Uh, that's tower moments here happening. Because the divine, I feel like the universe is ticked off. 
that these people aren't moving forward. See, look, you're, we've got discouraged and encouraged, but let's cover up the words. You're moving forward. They're feeling like they can't. Very disheartened, right? You've got to have confidence to get up on this, we, on this uh, bike. You've got to have confidence. If you don't have confidence, you can't truly coast, okay? You've got to be confident. You've got to be balanced. And you've got to keep on trying. You have to kind of be tenacious to do this, you know? And where you're, like, flying away from them, they're, like, fumbling the ball, basically, is what they're doing. Ooh, that one wants out. Yeah, and this is going under. This is what they fear, right? Is losing this soulmate connection. And when they think about that, this is could be why they're numbing, why they can't even get out of bed. This is depression, Waves of emotion come over this person, thinking about losing you. Waves of emotion. And look, I mean, you're not really giving them uh, uh, any of your energy right now. You've got, you've called all your energy back. Look, at it's like a boom, right? As soon as you take those training wheels off and start moving forward, you call your energy back. And it's like this explosion of all this vivid beautiful yellows and orange and you're taking a leap of faith here and you're just like like it says you're confident you're self-assured courageous and bold those are the moves you're making right now big bold moves big big energy is the song that i'm hearing big big energy yeah okay and i feel like um that's what you're doing you've called your energy back this person is feeling the loss. All of a sudden, it feels completely hopeless. Uh, you know, it's almost like a tower moment here. Because they're, they, it's almost like they fall into a depression here. They're checked out, man. Frustrated. They know there's no time left. You're just moving forward too fast. Some of you have made a house move, too. Uh, you could have even changed locations to another part of the world. I, f I feel like I'm looking at a, a, a masculine energy here who knows that they're losing the best thing that they've ever, ever found. And, and they're frustrated and angry with themselves because they can't get unstuck. They can't seem to get moving, okay? What? Hold on just a minute, please. Sorry. Sorry about that, everybody. It's like um, graduation week here, so it's there's a lot of activity in the house with the teenagers and stuff. So <laughs> um, my daughter wanted me to show, uh, wanted to show me her art project. So sorry about that. Um, but yeah, this person, they're out of time. They're out of time, you know. Um, mm -hmm. They can sit here and long for you and fall into a depression and curl up in the fetal position with a whoopee sucking their thumb. But, it, it, you know, the problem isn't going to go away. They're losing you. And if they don't get up and do something about it, they will lose you. And that's just the inevitability of it. Okay. Um, give me one more card here. For the collective how does this person feel about you deep down um i feel like the constant thinking about you like i said they're checked out they just they just check out they just um it's like everything else falls away when they think about you and then the more they think about you the more they slip into like, I don't even want to get out of bed, needing to be reassured, consoled, right, comforted. Yeah. And they're very, very regretful how they treated you, okay? This person could be crying, looking at old photos. Um, they, I mean, if they have any old photos of you, 
in their phone they're yeah they're regretful that they're broke your trust is what i'm seeing here yeah they're looking at any photos you have there i feel like they may be watching you so if you're posting anything any photos on online anywhere social media they're seeing it and most likely they're just like it's it's hard for this person to watch they're watching the one that they want move forward okay and they're literally they're longing for you uh they have these moments during the day where they just kind of shut down all right it shuts this person down so they they may not be talking to anybody else they may be walking around moping or just like not just in a daydreamy kind of nostalgic sort of feeling you know but regretting the day that they broke your trust and not really knowing that if they did reach out to you would you let them fall right if they fall from this trapeze they know it's gonna hurt so I feel like that's the fear that holds this person back they know what they did to you and they haven't made it right and not, and because of fear fear held them back right and now they're just they're angry they're angry they're stressed sad in grief yeah curled up in a little ball all kinds of heartbroken crying seeing tears here here you know they don't want you to go I'll tell you that much and all this person can think about is you they're either worried longing or stressed out you know I then they're angry with themselves you know fear is a big killer man yeah this person I feel like they just they shut down throughout the day little intervals throughout the day because they catch themselves just thinking about you leaving never seeing you again wanting to give back to that I feel like they gave to the wrong person I feel like this is you this is somebody else and they gave to somebody else and left you sitting here like wondering what the crap was going on that's I feel like they invested in someone else over you uh, I you know they could have gotten betrayed wherever they are but honestly the feeling that I'm getting off of this card is that this is a very painful ending and your person's having a really hard time dealing with it they're having a tough time coping you know when you start feeling hopeless and in depression right that's a very that's like despair and despair is actually the heaviest emotion there is because there's no hope and I feel like if this person doesn't speak up doesn't do something um, to get this blessing doesn't reach out to you it's gonna they're gonna feel worse and worse and worse okay that's the sad part for this person they've got to pick themselves up somehow otherwise I really do feel like it just get it keeps getting worse here you know and now they've got uh, this massive painful ending this person's in a lot of pain over this they know they gave to the wrong person they know they made a really bad choice and and when they made that decision when they made that decision they lost unconditional love a blessing from the divine a love that they're not gonna find in anybody else they lost the one for them and this it's tearing this person up they I feel like they feel guilty they feel like you know they're kicking themselves here it's it's a what have I done kind of feeling what have I done well they made a bad decision and it cost them this true love all right what else can you show me yeah they broke your trust and like I said without trust and respect I, I've said this before without trust and respect there's there's nothing to build on okay so yeah they and they know how man they must have really 
They must have really hurt you. This person knows it. They're feeling it. They're heartbroken. Absolutely heartbroken. They definitely learned their lesson here. I feel like you're out here having a victory, taking those training wheels off, and your person, they don't, they don't know how to get back on that bike. All right, what else can you show me for the person watching? How does this person feel truly? How do they truly feel? You could be dealing with the water sign. Cancer Scorpio Pisces, or you could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. What else can you show me for the person watching? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> you're definitely the one that they want. You're closing out this cycle, though. Because honestly, this person just, they broke your trust. They never reached out, I feel. They just couldn't get the strength and courage up to do it okay um they could be in another situation giving to somebody else right and not you um and i feel like you've healed from all of the stuff that happened in the past and you're just putting all this past stuff behind you now you know you have to release it in order to start this new life and you know what's coming for you in this new life. It's a lot of abundance. I feel like you're in the public eye here. You're looking beautiful. You, whoever you are, you're gorgeous. Look at your skin. You're beautiful. And your hair. You're very intuitive, too, and very, very balanced. You've got this confidence. That's this right here. That's this. Okay, and you, for a lot of you, you're in the public eye. Uh, so whatever you're doing, a lot of people are seeing you. I'm seeing eyes all on you. And the universe has seen um, all the accomplishments that you've made. Um, you're really sitting pretty here, okay, with the world card. Um, this person knows you're the one. They know you're the one. They built... I feel like they put all their effort into the wrong thing. That's this, right? They put all their effort into the wrong thing. They're not going to be able to take these pentacles with them. It's almost like they're sitting here or they're standing here thinking, ho-hum, right? Oh, I put in all this effort trying to grow something, trying to make it work. All they can do, though, is pick up this one pentacle and have a new beginning. And this person knows it. They know they put their work into the wrong thing. Or this could be they worked so hard to get you before, and now they have to work extra hard to get you back. But I'm really getting the feeling more of this person knows where they made that really horrible error, right? And that was when they decided to give to someone else instead of you um yeah all of the years they spent this could have been something that spans six or seven years here okay um yeah definitely because you've got you've got six pentacles here maybe for six years they gave to this person nothing you didn't hear anything from them they didn't give you attention nothing they're not even looking at you they're not even looking at you. Um, they kind of, I feel like they kept you there. Maybe thinking, oh, well, they're, they're going to breadcrumb me something, some kind of answer, some kind of info. Okay, I feel like you, you stayed in this position for a while and you decided, you know what, F that. I'm, I'm going to grow. I'm going to, I'm going to heal myself and I'm going to move forward. Yeah. And they can feel that. They can feel the loss of you all over the place. It's all over. It's all over this reading. And, um, yeah, they're, they, know, they know where their happiness is. Let's see what they have to tell you here. What does this person want to say to my collective? What do they want to say? 
Yeah, this is somebody who's completely zoning out, man. They just shut down. They do. Longing for you, you know, the one that they didn't give anything to. That's, you know, and now, now that you're moving forward. Ugh. It's just a sad, sad feeling, this person. Ugh. They're really stuck in their feels, guys. And I think they've been they've been stuck in their feelings like this for a while. I have to say, it's not getting any easier for this person. I'm looking for a sign from you that you still care. Yeah. They don't know if you care or not because it's been it's been so long. And they showed you nothing. They gave you nothing. I smile when I remember how you wanted nothing to do with me when we first met. I get that card a lot actually. I don't know why I didn't learn the first time because I really don't want to be without you. See, they really don't know why they made this mistake. They really don't know. You know, they, they should have learned. Maybe this is somebody that, um, you know, you guys have been through the starts and stops before, right? Something like that. Um, yeah, they should have learned from that. They, they definitely don't want to be without you. They don't want to watch this soulmate connection go down. What's this one? I hide behind material things. So, so many things remind me of you. Things, things. Maybe you guys, um, they, they're they holding on to some of that memorabilia. Maybe if you ever gave this person a gift or, I don't know, something, some kind of material possession, things. There's something that they they have that reminds them of you, Okay could even be something like this teddy bear all right and if if it is a teddy bear oh my gosh please leave a comment this person's sleeping with it by the way yeah just because it it just it might help them these things right these things that remind them of you they they keep those things close to them Anyway, Collective, listen, that's what I've got for this quick reading. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. If you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Help me grow, right? Become a new Mooney. Yes. And until next time, Collective, TGIF, right? Thank God it's Friday. Take care of you, and peace out.